Hi Capricorn, welcome to your March 2022 general reading. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Now in this reading, I'm gonna pull a 10 card spread looking at your money, your career, romantic love, any potential challenges you could be experiencing throughout the month of March. And if needed, I will get extra nosy by clarifying, all right? If you're new to this channel, welcome. Madison and Twitter Tarot, very happy to have you. So let's begin. Oh, and if you're watching this on a Thursday, the day I publish it, that means I go live tonight on my YouTube channel for the All Signs reading their feelings for you spread, okay? So if you want to be a part of that, do rock that notification bell underneath this video and select all notifications. All right, so let's begin. What do we have for Capricorn for March 2022 in money, career, romantic love, all the above? What's going on with Capricorn. Two more shuffles. Well, that card, those two wanted to come out, so I'm going to keep it. Okay? Bonus two cards. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my awesome Cappies. All right, let's see what these two are. Dang, the chariot and the ace of cups wanted to force its way out of my hands. All right, a lot of you guys in the month of March are going to be traveling or making plans for a trip. Okay? Even if you don't take the trip in March, you could be planning for it for like, you know, April, May, things like that. And a lot of you, new love is here, Ace of Cups. New love. Or some of you guys are planning a trip with a love interest. Maybe they live at a distance and they're making a plan to come see you, all right, or vice versa. And some of you guys might be getting a new vehicle this month or needing to service your vehicle if you guys are gonna be traveling a lot by your car, okay? Take it in for a for full service check. All right, I'll get a clarifier on that combo. So let's begin. What's your challenge this month? The Wheel of Fortune, wow. Now the Wheel of Fortune is all about fated events, destiny, all right? The wheel spinning in your favor. This is for your highest good. But with it being in your challenge position, I may be pulling in a Capricorn that feels like something is not gonna work out for them. Okay, so we'll see. What is your current energy right now? The High Priestess, Major Arcana for Pisces. A lot of us are getting the High Priestess as our current or focus for this month while we're in Pisces season, okay? So right now you may be very quiet with the people around you. You might have a lot of plans that you are conspiring behind the scenes and you're not letting anyone know about it until you're ready to launch your ideas, okay? So some of you Capricorns may be making plans to you know, start your own business, or do something completely different than what they're used to and you're not letting them know until it's the day of reveal, okay? And others, you might have a secret romance where only you and the person that you're connecting to know about this, all right? And not too many people know about it, okay? And you're also ascending. You may be experiencing a lot of weird dreams lately where you're waking up at like three in the morning thinking, why the hell did I just dream about a goat chasing me? That was just bizarre. Oh wait, you guys are sea goats, aren't you? That was just a weird little mention. Okay, so what's your focus this month? The Four of Cups. Some of you guys may be focusing on something that became a missed opportunity or you feel like it's going to be a missed opportunity and that could be why I have the Wheel of Fortune in your challenge position. Some of you guys may feel like something is not happening quick enough so you're already writing it off as something that is not gonna work out. You're getting bummed. You're getting bummed before it, you even discover if it's gonna work out or not. And for others, you may be focusing on how bored you are within a situation. Maybe you're talking to someone and they're not, you know, advancing the relationship and now you're getting kind of bored with it all together. Or um, your work may be not, you know, challenging you enough because you really like, like a good challenge Capricorn. So you might be secretly conspiring plans to either go in a new direction for your work and money or you're already like getting the groundwork started for a new business plan, okay? And I just got the image of you climbing, all right? And I know Capricorns rule the knees, but I, I just saw the image of a Capricorn either planning a trip to rock climb or doing one of those box jumps that CrossFitters do or something involving where you have to like bend at the knee and like maybe, you know, I don't friggin' know what I'm getting here, but I'm getting a Capricorn that is either feeling kind of bored right now in their life and making some sort of plan to either go on a camping trip or a climbing trip with that chariot or um, you're wanting to go back to the gym and I saw box jumps. Take it however it resonates, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, that's not gonna be for everybody. 
or someone's um, having trouble with their knees and needing to take a trip to the doctor to have it looked over, okay? Now let's take a look at the people around you, Capricorn. The Six of Swords could be an air sign that you're connecting with. Now with the people around you showing up as the Six of Swords, there's this energy of peace being in your life. So if there was any conflict between you and another person in February or January, you guys are overcoming that. And if there was a specific person that you guys were not on speaking terms or things were just not the way that they used to be, you guys are going to overcome that. Because the Six of Swords is that energy of, you know, an end to a very difficult time, a very difficult situation. Peace is here. Okay, and some of you guys are connecting with someone who is at a distance because I'm strongly getting like long distance with this Six of Swords and the Chariot energy. Okay. And some of you guys may be just planning a long trip here because you're bored with your current stomping grounds. Okay, now where would spirit like you to focus your energy? Because they see you focusing on the four of cups, but what would they like you to focus your energy on? The knight of pentacles. They're saying that there's an opportunity coming towards you that they needed to, um, you know, have come towards you slowly. They're, they're pretty much saying that there was something ready for you being worked on behind the scenes, but you were not ready to have it yet. And that could be what you're waiting on that you feel like is not actually happening. Okay? They're saying that something needed a little time to be, you know, worked on. Because the Knight of Pentacles, I like to joke and call it my geriatric horse, but let's be real. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving opportunity, but it's the only knight that actually makes it to the finish line. So if you've been waiting for your money to pick back up at your work, or you've been waiting on a job promotion, or you've been waiting on someone to actually ask you out on a date or to you know solidify the relationship, something is coming towards you. Whatever you have been focusing on, that pentacle is heading its way. Your pentacle is going to be different to your Capricorn friend or your Capricorn brother or sister. Everyone has a different goal in mind or a different focus. And whatever your focus is in the month of March, it's on its way. And Spirit wants you to not give up. They don't want you to give up. They don't want you to second guess what is meant for you. Because Capricorn, if something's meant for you, it will be for you. All right? And if it's not meant for you, it won't be for you. So what is, what is your love life looking like in March? And then I'll move into your money and career. The world. Now the world card speaks of leveling up. All right, taking a connection from the talking stage to dating. Taking the connection from dating to more exclusive, you know, relationships. All right, but it's also the energy of cycles closing. So it could go either way for the Capricorns watching this. I'll know more as I pull more cards. So who is Capricorn connecting with romantically? The star, wow. Possibly in an Aquarius or someone that you met during Aquarius season. There is someone that you're connecting with that you may feel like is unattainable right now. Because when you think about stars, Capricorn, picture yourself laying on the ground as a kid and looking up at the sky, counting all the stars, seeing how beautiful they are, but out of reach. All right, so you might feel like someone is out of reach or unattainable for whatever reason, whether there's another person involved, whether it's distance, because the world card can also represent that you guys are far away from each other, even a world apart, okay? Or there's something that is leaving you and this person um, with a lot of challenges to be together. And if you're single right now and you have nobody that you're thinking about, that could mean that in March there's going to be someone you're going to be meeting that is going to feel like a wish come true. And I did see the chariot with the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys might even be meeting someone on a vacation trip or while you're traveling. Maybe you're going to the gas station and you're getting gas and then someone's like, hey Capricorn, you got a nice butt. And you're like, oh wow. And you guys spark up a conversation and exchange your number and Snapchat, things like that. All right? It doesn't have to be like that. You know what I mean? Or whatever you do for work, Capricorn, involves a lot of travel or you being in a vehicle and you might meet someone while you're in transit. So for example, say you are an Amazon delivery driver and you're delivering a package to 123 Washington Street and the chick that opens up the door is like, wow, you've got really nice eyes and then you guys start talking. It's, it's something like that where you're meeting new love while on the go. All right. And if you're not on the go, the chariot is also the energy of being very self-motivated. 
So I may be pulling on a Capricorn that in March, you're gonna have like this rush of energy out of the blue. And we do start Aries season on what, March 20th? So around March 20th, you might notice that your energy levels are picking up, spiking up, which also brings in your confidence levels because Aries represents a lot of confidence. They are the emperor. They are the king of wands, the queen of wands. So in the middle of March, you may be feeling more sexy, more confident, more more of a risk taker to where it will be a lot more easier to, for you to hit on someone. So if there's been someone that you have been checking out or really wanting to date, you might feel more bold and you know impulsive with how you communicate with people to where you might actually say what you normally would not say and you would just think in your head. All right, like word vomit. Say you saw someone that's really cute and you thought in your head, wow, he's really cute. But around airy season, you might actually not think it, but say it and think that you're thinking it. And then you're like, shit, I just said that and I can't take it back. And then all of a sudden that person's like, well, I think you're cute too. And then boom, a new beginning. Had you not taken that risk, it would not have happened that way. Also, a side note. I feel like at the start of March 20th, your spending habits might be a little bit more impulsive. So just be mindful of that because I'm getting the energy that around March 20th, I may be pulling in some Capricorns that are feeling inspired to get new furniture for their home or um, a whole new wardrobe. It's the energy of just feeling a little bit more impulsive with your Apple card, all right, or Apple Pay. Like, oh, I can charge it or I can do this, all right? It's, it's Aries energy coming in and when when a Capricorn is entering Aries season, your slow and steady gets on high drive, all right? So just be mindful of that. Be mindful of that, okay? And there might be also a potential speeding ticket <laughs> around that time because I keep on looking at the chariot with the Six of Swords. But with the Ace of Cups coming out with that chariot, I feel like you're going to be very, very happy around this time, okay? And with the Star card coming up in that position, you might experience a very, very important conversation around the full moon in Virgo, which I think is on March 18th. I could be wrong. All right. And the star card is Aquarius energy and Aquarius energy is all about um, communication, strong communication. So around March 18th, there might be a very important conversation that you're having someone with someone very important to you, whether it's a bestie, a family member, a love interest, your child, whatever the case may be. All right. It's a very important conversation. So let's take a look at your energy moving towards the end of the month, because at the start of the month, I'm seeing the high priestess, but where is it headed? Ooh, there's going to be some sort of hardship. The Ten of Swords speaks of feeling like something is coming to an end, all right? And this could be why the World card is here. You may be ending a relationship with someone and meeting someone brand new. Or if you were waiting on somebody, Capricorn, and you feel like they are not leveling up the relationship, they're not giving you the attention that you deserve, you might be meeting someone new that's going to get your attention and you're going to end up breaking things off with somebody or going ghost on somebody. I'll get a clarifier on it to see how this pertains to you, to see if it's, you know, love related or something else related. All right, we will find out. Now, what's going on with your money and career in March? The Five of Wands, you're competing for something. All right, with the Five of Wands, it's telling me that whatever you do for work, there's a lot of competition around it. So for example, if you run your own business, there could be other people who are running the same type of business like down the street from you. Do you know how when they have Burger King and then they have McDonald's across the street from each other or a gas station across from each other from another gas station? It's something like that. You might be running your business in a hot spot where there's a lot of traffic, a lot of touristy people, and you've got some competition or if you work on internet, really on internet, my grammatical skills are kind of sucky. Um, if you do something online, you might have a lot of online competitors, okay? Or you and your coworkers are all vying for the same upper management position and they are showing you something working out in your favor to not, you know, partake in this drama. Be above it, okay? So what's heading towards you in your money and career? The Four of Pentacles, it's going to be stable. The Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. Your money and career is going to be very stable, so don't even worry about this, you know, jealousy around you because Capricorn, let's be real, you are one of the most ambitious, determined of the zodiac sign. And if 
you, if it's meant for you, it's going to be for you, especially with that Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys may also be working from home. I got the same message for Sagittarius, so you could be a, a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. Some of you guys may be working for, from home or you're going to be changing how, how you make money and you might find a way to make income from your home where you just you're sleeping and your money is just being dropped into your bank account okay and a lot of you guys are making long-term plans all right long-term plans in fact I think I even heard uh, my best friend who is a Capricorn say this very quote last week um, I feel like he said if it won't matter in five years I can't be bothered with it today so I feel like that's a good Capricorn model. If something's not going to matter to you in five years, you just don't bother with it today. You don't like wasting your valuable time. If it's not making money for you, if it's not, you know, effing you, if it's not being a part of your future, you don't want to waste your time. So don't even bother with this five of wands. If someone's being jealous of your success, let them. You, are, you, you earned it. Your determination earned it. Your skillfulness and navigating through both the material and emotional realm earned you your props, earned you that money that's coming in for you. Okay, what's your overall energy? The Eight of Cups. You're turning your back on something or someone that is no longer desiring you. Un rewind. That you're no longer desiring. And I feel like it has to do with this Four of Cups. You're feeling bored in a situation, whether at your job or with a person that's not, you know, leveling up the relationship. And I do have the Knight of Wands coming through. I feel like a lot of you Capricorns are feeling very sexy, very motivated, very ambitious in March or in the middle of March to where you might take a risk and go in a different direction if someone's not giving you the attention that you deserve. Now, I'm going to get a couple clarifiers. Please rock that like and subscribe button for you, girl. I love you, Capricorn. One second, my voice is getting scratchy. If you're wanting to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box, by the way. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in the challenge position for Capricorn? I'm like getting out of breath. And I was like so calm before I started your reading. So I feel like a lot of Capricorns are planning to go back to the gym or there's just this energy around airy season of you just like having a lot of pent up energy. All right. So right now with the hanged man clarifying the wheel of fortune, you feel like something is just not moving. And because it's not moving, you feel like it's not happening all together. And that's during Pisces season with that hanged man. But I do have the page of cups here, which tells me that you're about to birth a new beginning with something connecting to your heart chakra, whether this is doing something that you love to do, like a hobby or a job, or connecting with someone that you're going to have romantic feelings for, very innocent feelings. And just when I said that, the Knight of Cups, someone may be getting extra vulnerable with you in March. Because if you know anything about cats, Capricorn, when they roll over and, and expose their tummy, that's their way of saying, I want to be vulnerable with you. I trust you. I like you. Let's, let's work this together. All right. So someone possibly around the full moon in Virgo, like I was talking about that big, important conversation, someone around that date might be opening up and telling you that they love you. All right. Or saying they like you. I'm missing a card. Where did that card? Okay. All right. Why is this four of cups here? I'm making a mess. Why is the Four of Cups here? You could be connecting with a Cancerian. Now they do say Capricorns and Cancerians make compatible partners. Just when I said that, the Wheel of Fortune came out. And the Wheel of Fortune is in your challenge. A lot of you guys feel like a love interest is just not turning it up the way that you expected or there is no change. It's just, it's stale. It's not moving. Or something else that you have been hoping for, you feel like it's not turning out in your favor. But whenever the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright, which it is twice, it, Spirit's saying, we got your back. We'll make this work out for you. It's for your best interest. You just need to be a little bit patient. Okay, and then I have the world card. So some of you guys may be closing out a cycle with a love interest that is taking too long to get things moving or leveling up with somebody. But you are showing up as someone being at a crossroads. What is this Knight of Pentacles that Spirit wants Capricorn to focus on? This is a, this is a great reading. All right, Seven of Pentacles. Look at that. You have been investing your time and patience and energy and resources, Seven of Pentacles, into something that you feel like is going to be in your life for a very long time. Like I said earlier about my friend's quote, if it's not going to matter in five years, I'm not going to bother with it today. And it's something's coming towards you that's going to affect your life five years from now. 
okay, and it's stable. It's very stable with the Four of Pentacles showing up. And I have the Four of Pentacles showing up for your money and career. Some of you guys are getting pay raises or you're entering a new tax bracket. Okay, like I said for Sagittarius, it's not good around tax season, but it's still, it's, your money is improving. What is this world card to the star card for their romantic love life? The devil, Capricorn energy, and the king of pentacles and the six of pentacles, Capricorn energy strongly. You're the one that is making a major decision to um, decide whether a connection is worth staying in or a new one needs to be taken care of. Because the Six of Pentacles is the energy of feeling like something's one-sided, feeling like you're the one that's generous, you're the one paying for everything, you're the one giving all the attention and not getting what you deserve. All right, so I feel like you're the one that is bringing this hardship. What is this Ten of Swords for Capricorn? The Emperor, just around Aries season, which is the Emperor, you're gonna boss up and make a huge decision that's going to close out a major cycle that left you feeling very anxious and very, you know, bitter, okay? Something is not making you happy and you're about to cut that out and take control of the situation and not let anything affect your well-being, all right? But it's something that you're gonna be wavering back and forth with, with the Two of Wands, all right? Aries energy again. What is this five of wands to the four of pentacles? Someone's jealous about all of your success is what I see here. Or someone's going to feel like they have to compete with you. But everything's going to work out for you with the justice card in the upright. All right. The knight of pentacles came out, but it came out in reverse. Which tells me that there's something that you're working hard to achieve. And there is a very slow energy attached to it. But with that knight of pentacles being in the position of what spirit wants you to focus on, they want you to know it is heading towards you, but it is coming in really slowly. But when it comes in, you're gonna be like, dang, that was worth the wait. Worth the wait, because something is working out in your favor with the justice card. What is this Ace of Cups to the Chariot? The Hermit and the Knight of Wands. Some of you guys are getting your groove on with that Knight of Wands. That's all about passion, excitement, and, and lust, and, and sex, and fun, and adventure. Okay, whether you're just spicing up your adventure with, you know, outdoor events or outdoor adventures, or you're getting the boom boom from possibly a fire sign, all right, who may have been very quiet with you, or you're meeting someone after a period of silence. What is this Eight of Cups? I feel like I already know what this Eight of Cups is. Yeah, judgment in the Four of Pentacles. You're making a huge judgment call after reviewing some past experiences to turn your back on something that you don't feel like is going to be a part of your next five years. Okay, because you just don't want to waste your time anymore. All right, look at that. There's something better. I don't read these cards in reverse. Sometimes I do. Now, I'll get extra nosy in the extended, but if this is where I leave you, Capricorn, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. I have no need to worry. I have yes. I have you are ready for what you're looking for and listen to your intuition. All right, Capricorn, I hope to see you tonight for my live stream. Until next time, I love you guys.